Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, let's talk tropics, and we've got two systems I'm tracking, Marco, Tropical Storm Marco, and Tropical Storm Laura. Uh, Marco is weakening, Laura is strengthening, and it's good because Marco is approaching the coast. And it looks like the bulk of the storms are actually moving away from the center towards Florida because it's on a northwest track right now. So those storms are actually moving towards uh, Mobile more than they are New Orleans. But the center is moving towards that direction. Uh, 60 mile an hour winds sustain moving northwest at 10 miles an hour, but it's forecast to weaken a little more before it brushes the coast. And that's the latest forecast now. Brushes the coast as a tropical storm. Not too bad of a scenario. I mean, they will get some rain and gusty winds along the coast, but it shouldn't be too bad from Marco, from this system. Then it weakens and falls apart just southeast of Houston. It is going to bring them some rain, and then they'll get a day or two before this system interacts with them. So this is Laura. This is down towards Cuba right now. It's got 65 mile an hour winds. It is moving along Cuba, and it'll probably move over land a little bit. Maybe that'll weaken it slightly. But this is the forecast is for a strong system, a Category 1 and then a Category 2 hurricane, and moving towards the coast, and maybe in between Louisiana and Texas. This is Thursday morning, very early, 100 plus mile an hour winds. After that, moves to the north, northeast, and then eastward. So it's going to fall apart eventually over the Tennessee River Valley. And we'll probably get some rain from the remnants of it, but not from the system itself. I think it'll fall apart before it gets here. That's what a lot of models suggest. Okay, so uh, there's one impact that we have to keep in mind, too. There's a lot of oil and gas sites down there, and so this could really disrupt production down across the Gulf Coast states, both of these systems. Just something to keep in mind over the next few days might affect gas prices, but we'll see. So anyway, locally close to home, we got some nice quiet weather. High pressures offshore. We got a lot of heat and humidity coming in. The humidity is giving us some clouds and some isolated showers nearby, but uh, it's also going to make it feel pretty hot and humid today. So the heat index, 95 to 99, even though the temperature 92 degrees. And about the same tomorrow, 93 heat index, 96 to 100. Now we have quiet weather, except for a few isolated showers to our southwest and one or two down to the south over mainland Dare on the very south end. Today we'll have pretty quiet weather to start, maybe a stray shower southward. But in the afternoon, between about 3 and 6 o'clock, we'll get some isolated showers here in the region. Chance of rain is 20%. It's not going to be a lot, but some isolated showers could pop up. And then overnight, that goes away, partly cloudy skies. And then tomorrow, we're going to have partly cloudy conditions and some uh, pretty good weather out there overall, but it is going to be hot and humid. So today, highs, low to mid-90s, mid-90s inland, low 90s near the shore. Mix of sun and clouds and some isolated showers. Wind southwest 5 to 15 miles an hour. Beach forecast, water temps upper 70s, waves to 2 feet, low threat for rip currents. Tomorrow, 93 degrees, partly cloudy. No rain on Wednesday, Thursday. High temps take a dip for a day, but they go right back up Thursday, 95, and then Friday, 93. Saturday is our next best chance of rain. Again, that could be from the remnants.